Let's see if some meat. Oh, hold on to your plates. Sure. One blue. All oh, siblings are doing that. It is normal. When they, when they get along together. When they get along. Guys, can you not go in the front? Yeah. No, go, don't go in the front. As you can see, I have a giant pan, a really deep dish of onions uh, slowly cooking. So that's going to be like my onion jam. Um, Polly's friend Kevin shared some sausage and peppers and an entire bag of raw onions that were already sliced up. So I decided to turn it into sauteed onions. We have hoagie rolls if you want to have those tonight or with or without the, the buns. But in, I will definitely have plenty of onion jam for recipes for this week. So I also made a no-bake cheesecake and just the filling and I popped that in the fridge because I have graham crackers that we can use and make a parfait out of. We didn't get to, um, we didn't make it to the produce place to in a produce tonight. They closed at six on Sundays and we were out and about. So I'm prepping some of the stuff for tomorrow. Now the little trick, um, I had so much so many onions, they were totally over the pot. There were more than I could fit. And a little trick to start them off is you can add a little water to the pan if you want to keep it vegan or vegetarian, or a little stock to the pan, um, chicken stock, beef stock, whatever you have. If you're making um, French onion soup, definitely beef stock or beef consomme. It add, imparts wonderful flavors into the onions. So they cook way down pretty quickly and then you turn the heat down and let them caramelize slowly. So I have to stop and mix these. I've turned the onions way down because the slower they cook, the more caramelized, the more the sugars come out and low and slow is what creates that caramelization. If you need to do a quick caramelized, caramelized onion, you can put a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. It makes them a rich color and brings out the sugars much faster because balsamic is sweet or the sweetness to it. So, but I'm going to do these old school, low and slow, about 45 minutes. And I'm doing other stuff in the kitchen, so it's easy for me to multitask, keep one eye on the onions. I already have a load of wash in, should be going into the dryer in about half an hour. And then I might watch the first um, two, two hours of Rosemary's Baby on NBC, which is a mini series, I think, tonight on Sunday, Mother's Day interesting choice um, and I think the remaining two hours the finale is on Thursday so I'm sure it'll be out on either um, on demand or replayed at some point if you miss it or you have missed it but uh, I'm interested in seeing this iteration of it because I like the original <laughs> a lot <laughs> so yeah back to the onions this is as far as I'm going to take the onions for now. They've been in for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Um, I've turned the heat off. There's still a little carryover cooking because there's a lot of heat trapped inside of them, but they shouldn't stick to the bottom. There's plenty of moisture in the pan from the onions themselves. I did start off the pan with a little bit of grapeseed oil and just added salt and black pepper. That's it. A little bit of salt, lots of cr uh, cracked, fresh cracked black pepper. So now I'm going to go do some editing. I took lots of photos today at Mother's Day. But I totally forgot to take a photo of my mom wearing her um, little award ribbon, which is too bad because it fell off oh, at some point. She did take it home though, so yeah, she did like it a lot. Um, probably got her two beautiful geraniums, and uh, for my sister, um, she got a giant, um, already started with tomatoes and lots of flowers, tomato plant for her patio for the kids to take care of. Um, as well as a potted sunflower, which you can put in her garden, and um, a 18-pack of eggies from the girls. So I'm hoping you probably remember that I dropped a hint that we have root beer in the refrigerator, that it might be nice to cap off our Sunday night with root beer floats. So he picks up some vanilla. We'll see. It's Bark's root beer that we have in the fridge. So, um, dinner was lovely. It was just the thing that we need to do. And if I sound stuffed up, is I think I'm getting some allergy issues. My, where I think my sinuses are, there's a lot of pressure suddenly built up. I, I did sneeze a few times and I feel like I have this weird kind of sore throat. 
but it doesn't really hurt. It's really more like pressure. So I'm going to chuck it up to allergies and maybe take a Tylenol Pam or maybe half a Benadryl. I'll try that. See if Chester minds I take half of his Benadryl because it's just a... He gets regular Benadryl, like human Benadryl. So um, I had to scrap some footage from earlier. So I just wanted to share that we had a lovely afternoon with mom and dad and my sister and Eric and Amanda and Eli. And we brought back the table, which I forgot to share, but I will um, share it tomorrow. It's a hexagon, which is kind of funky setup. Oh, low flying helicopter late at night. Anyway, so... Um, I'm just letting you watch, uh, see something pretty, and this is my stash of Sizzix dies, which I need to organize better, but right now they're in this uh, little com com container because those make, um, adhesive strips on the cards that they come on eventually just give up, and I don't want to lose a piece, so I just put it in a closed container that I know that I couldn't, I, um, I won't uh, lose one of the, especially one of the nesting pieces. So I'm going to write in my uh, gratitude journal. And I'm going to call it a night. Um, sorry there wasn't more footage, but we were just having such a lovely time that I took some pictures, which, I'll, again, I'll link in the description below to the to my blog post with the photographs from this afternoon. It was absolutely a custom-ordered gorgeous day. Uh, 79 to 80 degrees, um, lovely breeze, not a cloud in the sky, the sun was lovely. I might have gotten some color, so I'll show you tomorrow. I'll share my face tomorrow. So, and I didn't have any sunscreen on, but I rarely got in the sun, so should, hopefully it'll be okay. So, I'm going to write um, for today, and then I'll share with you guys tomorrow something that left me feeling kind of uneasy this morning. Um... I don't know if anyone's ever experienced this. I'll explain what the dream was about, but the, um, you wake up from a dream and for a few moments you don't actually know for certain whether it was a dream or it was real. Um, the dream I had um, shortly before waking up this morning was so vivid it played out like a movie in vignettes and scenes. It was in full color. I could almost smell the scents in the... Um, what was going on and it left me really disturbed this morning and I was trying to kind of kick that so I could really enjoy my day which I ended up enjoying it but it certainly left a lasting impression on me so sometimes that's how it happens some dreams are just very I don't know powerful and I always think that maybe those aren't just dreams maybe that they are clues from a different perception or a different dimension or things that we may not pay attention to during our waking hours. Anyway, so that I will share tomorrow because I think today is lovely Mother's Day. I want everyone, I hope everyone who was a mother, is a mother, plans to be a mother, had a fabulous day. Um, I am a pet mom. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a mom to my mom, which lovely. Uh, gesture. My mom acknowledged that today uh, with a toast at lunch, which was very nice. So I'm going to, I think, maybe make some myself some mint tea, relax, watch uh, the rest of the show that I was watching, finish editing my uh, vlog and my blog post, and call it a night. Don't forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.